that's Monica, and this is one of the ways that we actually um, make a little income on um, our homestead. One of my skills is I can, um, I restore Native American pottery, uh, specifically from the Southwest, but I think I've practically done every tribe um, in North America, and actually some of the pre-Columbian pieces from South America as well. Um, with that being said, what happens is, is that when, um, through time, these pieces have lost parts and, or through excavations, and we know quite a few people that have private land excavations, what is still legal here in the United States, um, or at least in Arizona, you can uh, dig on private property as long as you stay away from burials. Um, with that said, we know quite a few people that do have uh, private land excavations. And so when they have a piece that needs some work, they actually send it to me and I fix it. So this piece is um, the handle part was found with the bowl, but they couldn't get it to join back together. And so what I did was um, put it back together again. And so uh, it's with a plaster type substance. And then I'm going to paint this to match so that it looks like the original. But it's all done with acrylics and all done with reversible processes so that if anybody ever wanted to see the piece back in its uh, as found state, uh, it can be reversed with no damage to the original pottery. Um, this piece was also found with the end missing. It had had significant wear and I do believe that it probably um, in use had lost its tip but um, the landowner wants it to um, kind of be um, as it was, kind of have it look closer to the way it was created. Uh, with that said, they also, um, this was burnt. This, it was like found apart and this was in a, um, like in a trash mound probably and this was um, really burnt. And so uh, my husband is actually able to clean them without damaging um, the pottery. So now we're getting to where it's looking a lot more um, like it was intended to look like when it was first taken out of um, the potter's kiln. So um, we'll show you some stages of this. Okay, so I got the base coat finished. About to paint the design. Okay, and here she is, all finished. Okay, and we also restore antlers. Mm, I'm not gonna show you the whole antler. It is huge, but for now, I will show you the restoration process. So it's basically bonded together right here. And Dan actually had videotape of this buck um, and so this is his naturally shed antler as you can see but um, during the rut the antler was broke by fighting with another buck so basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna um, Dan was able to match it up and we're gonna paint it to match okay and it's all finished got it bonded back together and all right perfect so yes we do pottery restoration and antler restoration um and if you want to give us a contact um you can find that on a, the about us page hmm. and this is a piece i did um it was a couple years ago but i thought i would uh, share it because i'm trying to clean out my photo albums here. Um, it's uh, a more modern piece and I can't remember who the potter is that did it. Um, I believe it's Acoma. Um, it could be Laguna or across. I can't, I can't remember. But um, it is a gigantic pot. And it came to me because um, the owner I think purchased it at a really good price um, because it was damaged and it had some really poor restoration on it. And so he brought it to me to get fixed. And I only took one after photo. I don't know why I did that, but um, 
It's a gorgeous piece.